Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so in this video, we are going to do a BIOS update on our Iris Elite V490 AC. So this one has the Wi-Fi. And uh, we're going to cover every step. So first thing I'm going to do is jump over to Google. Bing doesn't work that good for whatever reason here in Africa, where I'm at at the moment. So we'll type in Iris Elite Z490 AC. First link's Gigabyte. You want to definitely go to an official Gigabyte website. And there it is. So you'll see here, uh, this supports 10th and 11th gen. And uh, you're going to find out from the BIOS update that uh, the newest BIOS actually shows you that. So over uh, up on the right support you'll click on that now it takes forever for uh, web pages to come up so in a moment we'll just uh we'll jump over to one that i preloaded boom there it is all right so here's what you're looking at you want to go to bios which is further down and that plus three means there's going to be three files in there and we're eventually going to download the newest but uh, we're going to check the description See what uh, so F4. What you would uh, normally do is check your BIOS revision. Okay, we'll do that in a moment. But uh, F4 is uh, the oldest one shown here. You can see here what did they improve. So for most of us, this isn't anything exciting, right? But the next BIOS, as soon as we get up there, I'm having to uh, audio dub this, folks. Um. So here you go. Oh, there it is. Update to 11th gen. So I'm going to click download in a moment here. Boom. And it'll go to this screen. And then eventually it will show the file downloading. Now, like I said, uh, you'll want to check your BIOS version. You can do that inside the BIOS. Uh, I'll show you Intel's extreme tuning utility since we're already in the BIOS. And there's there's multiple ways to find out what your BIOS is. So that's the newest one right there. January 28th. And what I'm doing is looking for my Intel extreme tuning utility. Most computers I have, it is a shortcut. This computer I don't. So we'll open that up. And there's, you know, a couple reasons why you might want to use this. So what you're going to do is go over to system information, top left. Now you can see your processor, you know, i5, 10, 600K, that's what we have here. Over here, how much RAM we have. RAM will uh, factor us into this at some point. We'll talk about that in a little bit. BIOS is next. So as soon as we get there, yeah, version F4. And if you remember from what we just saw, F4 is the uh, the oldest one. We want the newest one. So we can update this and get our motherboard 11 gen compatible. Doesn't necessarily mean all that good PCIe 4.0 stuff is going to work yet. Uh, you may be required to have 11 gen. Another thing to look at there, motherboard, you can specifically see what the title was as we come back here. So it's about to finish downloading. and it's downloaded so in a moment we will uh have to unzip that file and now you could click uh, open file and go straight to it or you can use your uh, file explorer go to downloads there's the file now it is a uh, zip file, even though uh, mine's showing WinRare. And you can, uh, I'm gonna show you what not to do. So don't do that. Whatever reason, it did not uh, pop up. I'll try this again. Extract, come on, one more. 
files. There you go. Of course, if you do WinZip, you'll just say uh, extract all, and it'll do the same thing. Now, you'll see at the very bottom, there is your BIOS file, okay? You don't really need all this other stuff. But I'm going to copy the whole folder over to my thumb drive, which you'll see uh, bottom left of File Explorer 128 gig. For that, though, um, this is showing you some BIOS flash info, that PDF that was in there. This is if you want to do in DOS mode. We're not going to do it that way, though. We are going to right click, click copy, and then drop it in here. All right. So we are really getting closer, folks. Now, at this point, we're going to restart the computer. Uh, I would do, you know, a weather check. Make sure that uh, you're not going to lose power uh, if you're in a place where they give you warnings about power going out, the weather's bad, all those things. So while this is restarting, I would be jamming on the delete key. You can't actually see that because we're using a capture card. And the capture card is uh, stuck on that screen. So we're going to log in. It looks like one more time, folks, will do it. So restart, click and delete, and boom, we're in the BIOS. So it should automatically go into easy mode. If not, it'll be in advanced mode, and you need you can go into easy mode to follow along. So we want Q flash. You could also hit F8. We want to update the BIOS file. So we're going to click up here. And this just so happens it brought up our USB drive automatically. Sometimes it will not. There's our folder. We want to left mouse click on that and left mouse click on our file. And now we're going to hit that arrow. Are you sure I want to update? I think I hit the, uh, might have hit the enter on the keyboard here. So once again, you know, make sure that everything is looking good before you hit that enter button. All right, so comes to this screen, and they they give you a lot of chances, folks, not to get this going right. And why is that? Because people occasionally brick their motherboards, one reason or another. Whether it's uh, you know, the weather, power outage. I'm not sure that it'll even see the wrong file, but you know. You can think of a million reasons why you could screw this up. Like right now, if I were to uh, power this thing off, it might be fatal. All right, so like I said, don't mess with it. Let this thing go all the way through. And, you know, if you're watching this, good chance that you are probably upgrading to 11th gen. Uh, I will tell you from previous experience with 8th and 9th gen that uh, you didn't always need the BIOS update to get that 9th gen chip to work on 8th gen motherboard. Uh, however, I would always do it whether it was before or after, right? So um, you'll see on the channel I had a lot of i3 9100s that I would install into a basically the 8th gen motherboards and uh, see if they would fire up. Most of the time they did. Now, a lot of times though, it was suggested to use an 8th gen chip to get it going. So same thing here, folks. Um, they'll probably recommend, you know, do the BIOS update with the 10th gen chip and ensure that it's, it's ready for 11th gen. Now, uh, yours truly will not be able to check all of that stuff because every motherboard I bought pretty much is, um, it's basically getting the BIOS update. So we shall see. But now, one thing I'll be curious on this motherboard is if the PCIe 4.0, when will that work? 
I have my feelings it's probably only going to work with 11th gen chips once there's an additional BIOS update out there beyond this one. Maybe this one works, but uh, I can tell you that uh, my Samsung EVO 980 still only works as a PCIe 3.0 is not recognized by the spot on here that says limited functionality check manual. So it could be waiting for me to get that 11th gen chip. And uh, in a matter of months, we'll have an 11th gen chip in here. So the BIOS is just about updated. And it's going to automatically reboot for you. And boom. So because of the capture card, you're you're kind of seeing some skip steps here. Um, you see me type in the wrong password. See a bunch of stuff. And voila, we're back in Windows. So I bring up Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. Of course, I've got to learn how to spell correctly. Learn my alphabet. We are completely going the wrong direction there we go yes and what am i trying to show you here folks i am trying to show you that we have an updated bios so there it is f20 bravo so that part is good we have the update and I, I guarantee I'll be doing another update on this motherboard before it's all said and done, but we shall see. So if you've successfully done this, um, you're good. Now I am going to restart again, and we're going to look at it in the BIOS. And one thing I, I'm kind of glad I did this video because... I've got Patriot RAM in here, 3000 megahertz. I have two different um, sizes. And I was like, what happened to my XMP? Just one of those little things where you realize, oh yeah, they're kind of mixed mass RAM. So it does not show you XMP in here. And you can see the base speed of two of them is less than the other two. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna see XMP in here. Now, how do you fix that? Pull out, say the two that show 2133, pull them out, and then you can change that to uh, 3000 megahertz via XMP. And then you can put the RAM back in if it's the same kind, and boom, you'll have, in my case, 24 gigs at 3000 megahertz. So you see the other stuff in the BIOS. And of course you didn't, if you didn't notice the upper left shows also the BIOS version F20 Bravo. And I think here I'm just pointing out the RAM. I was going to make another video out of this, but, uh, so potentially you may be able to go back and change the RAM there without removing it. Like I said, but. If you want to see the XMP, that's how you got to do it. All right, so that's going to do it, folks. Saving and exit. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.